How y'all doing? And thanks for watching. This is George over here at Wicked Warnings, your number one source for construction and emergency safety and strobe lighting equipment. Much like you're looking at right here on this 2014 Subaru Forester. It's a little bit of old iron, but we don't mind that too much here at Wicked Warnings. We had this car come in because it's recently been introduced to some service work that brings it on and off of construction sites and needs some warning. So what you're looking at there is an orange dash light. That's our 12 inch dash light there in orange. On below it, we've got our TIR threes with a 90 degree bracket in amber synchronized to alternate. They mount quite nicely in that front bumper there with a 90 degree bracket, pretty easy install. Wiring goes right up behind the headlights. Subaru has a grommet on the firewall, real easy to access right through the center of the firewall there to bring the wiring inside. They got a fairly rudimentary fuse box underneath there. We put an add a fuse on the cigarette outer uh, cigarette lighter fuse. So we added a fuse circuit to that. That was our power for our switch. Kept this system fairly simple, all amber to the front, as you can see. Alrighty, around the back of this fine, eco-friendly ride, we've got our forehead wicked stick and a pair of HAW duos. If you don't know about Subaru, take a look at them. They do a very, very low carbon footprint for all of their plants. So that's what I mean by eco-friendly one of the most clean car makers there is. Now that LED HAW Duo was very easy to put in the reverse lens. It's actually quite easy to mount. The rear tail lights pop off fairly easy and uh, not that bad of an install at all. Same deal with the forehead stick. We were able to mount that right up into the headliner. As you can see, so if the hatch is open, none of the warning is lost, it just gets brighter. Alrighty, pardon the shaky hand, but as you can see, that's where we put our high dome Haw Duo, right there. Fairly easy to mount. As I said, not a bad location at all. It's, I guess it's actually in the turn signal housing there, not quite the reverse. But that's fairly easy. And in relation to the forehead stick, we were able to use a self-tapping screw right there in the center of the bracket. We flipped the brackets around from the way that they're shipped, and we were able to mount it right up there next to a factory. There's a factory plastic retainer that goes up right next to it, so that worked out quite nicely. Nice and stiff, nice and solid. For our switch, we kept it simple. We found a blank right here in the dashboard, right above the factory fuse box. Just put a red rocker switch in there. Go ahead and throw a label on it so everybody who drives the car knows what's going on. Thanks again for watching Wicked Warnings, your number one source for construction and emergency safety and strobe lighting equipment for cars, vans, buses, trucks, bicycles, tricycles, SUVs, heavy equipment, small equipment, medium equipment, and light equipment. We'll see you on the next video. Drop a comment. Let me know that there's actually people out there listening. I appreciate every one of you. Thanks for watching my films. I'll try to make you some better content on the next one. Wicked warnings.